the soil shredder question from 2017 um, M Mullen so the note we're going to look at here is note number three it's a suspense note I'm not going to do the mortgage interest part we've done that several times I'm going to look at this VAT refund it's a little bit difficult it's a little bit different um, there's not much to it so um, a VAT refund of 2000 entered only in the bank account so we don't have to worry about the bank account it doesn't really matter what our balance is we know that the suspense account is the insurance um, so this is my insurance um, as given 17,700 on the debit side I would have also had to do the mortgage interest whichever side that was on I'm not looking at that now so um, the two figures uh, are going to be there and now we need to um, either add a figure on the debit or credit side depending on what we do here with our VAT account so a VAT refund of 2000 entered only in the bank account well, uh, for starters, if you think about it from a bank account perspective, um, if I receive, a VAT refund is money I receive. If I receive money into my bank account, it will be on the debit side. So the opposite entry will be a credit figure here for our VAT. But why does that make any sense? Because usually if we think about VAT, we think about liability means we owe VAT and debit side means we're owed VAT. So where does a VAT refund come into it? Well, the thing about VAT here is usually we think about VAT in terms of a bad thing, in terms of I owe money. But VAT can also be you being owed money. This is owed to you. 6,400 was owed to you at the first of the first. So the government owes you 6,400 and then they give you 2,000. What happens? Well, if they owed you 6,400 and they gave you 2,000, it reduces the balance that they now owe you to 4,400. That is why we're crediting the VAT account. Um, it doesn't mean we owe more money. We're just reducing the amount that we're owed. So we're owed this money. It's coming to us. And we've already received 2,000 now. So we're no longer owed 6,400. We're owed 4,400. What's the reverse entry for that? Well, I've already done it here on the credit side of my VAT account. I now put it into the debit side of my insurance account.